Oh, you're gonna start off with hard questions like that, huh? My values affect my voting. They're the primary consideration when I vote. I transfer, try to transfer my values from what's inside of me to outside of me, to the, to the general public. So, uh, or from the general public, actually, so what, I, what I want from the general public back for me. So my, my, uh, my values are reflected in the way that I vote directly. My values affect me in the voting booth very much. My values affect me in the voting booth uh, because they affect how I live every day and how I vote is going to affect how I live every day. Boy, there's so many, and they are so intertwined. Well, the value, you know, your basic values of, uh, you know, family and integrity, trust, are, you know, probably, you know, your core values, and then everybody has their own values after that. Honesty and uh, somebody who's trustworthy and responsible. Or integrity, uh, fairness. Honest, you know, people. Being honest, it's you know, uh, there's there's you know, nobody's perfect, and someone trying to cover something up that they've done that in the past is is you know that really put, puts a big mark against against a candidate too. Being honest is a, is a real big thing. If you can't trust them, then why should you vote for them? It's my family, says my freedoms and my rights. Number one, our freedom because. Um, I've been in Eastern Bloc countries when it wasn't free and when I was a teenager and it's a frightening thing, particularly looking at places like the Berlin Wall and it's, um, I value our freedom. Number one in, in my life it's the image that America is portraying overseas. I guess the hot buttons for me are abortion, um, I guess same-sex marriage. Particularly the environment. Environmental concerns, it's, there's a lot of it that's involved in there. But it's, it's so that we can all live in a good place. Another thing is our energy problems. I, I do believe that, um, that we're not looking forward to what the next generations are going to use to continue to drive our economies. I believe uh, we need to have alternate sources of fuel. Uh, I believe also that uh, they have to try and figure out how they're wasting our money into Washington. And with the school systems the same way. They're wasting our dollars. And I feel it's very important they need to have a cleanup. Well, I'm very concerned about world peace, and I'm very concerned about issues of justice in our society. My priority is peace. I mean, having lived through World War II, I don't want to see that again. And uh, consequently, I, that's, that's value number one. I don't mean peace at any price, but I mean peace, <laughs> somehow with justice. You know, we, we all want uh, a place that uh, we can be proud of uh, to live in, and we don't want to have to be ashamed of, you know, the neighborhood or what we're doing. Well, I believe everybody should be included, and I don't believe in discrimination. Like right now, I'm in the union. Thinking about what things are most important to me right now as far as protecting my children or protecting my... Um, home, you know, my home life and my, the security that we have here. It depends on what the issues are. I just always go for what's best. It's the old story my dad always used to say, safety first. Anything that impacts me or my family, that's, uh, that's a concern. And of course then it spreads to the concern for others as well. I place my spiritual values first, I place my family second, and then I look at the issues of the day and I place those third. People are very important to me. As you pass through this life, you have three things you have to work, think about. And that's your, how you treat people through this life, your family, and your friends. And that affects a lot of things that I vote for. Unfortunately, feelings come into it a lot. Are the things that are directly going to affect their lives? Because you, you're, it's really how your gut feel is about a lot of things. You feel it's right or it's wrong. And listen to what people actually say and what uh, what people actually are looking for and wanting, not what, um, what well, not what uh, maybe someone is paying them to do. 
I think it changes throughout your life depending on where you are in your now I'm moving towards the world towards retirement certain things become less important than maybe were earlier in my life I tend to go with more of a conservative view well I've, I've got a family I, I have a uh, two young children so I definitely want to start thinking about their future you know in the past a couple years ago I started voting for myself thinking you know when I was younger and single and unattached I voted that way and now that I've uh, acquired a family, a wife, and two children. I, I think my voting stance has definitely changed. My values have changed uh, accordingly. Now it looks like I'm, my, my stance is being taken away from I don't want to pay taxes to now I'm feeling a little more open to pay taxes because my value structure wants to improve the immediate community. So, You know, it's funny, through my life, val my values have changed. And as I've grown, my values uh, have, go have come from being maybe more self-oriented, therefore I voted for, peop uh, for things and people that would maybe bring me more personal gain. But as I've developed personally, my values have changed to be more externally oriented. So uh, I'm looking more for things that will help myself and boy the people and society around me at the same time. So uh, as, as my values change, my voting changes. I think about society, I think about the good of the country, and then I think about myself. Yeah, there's definitely some spirituality there. I mean, I, I, I don't frequent church all the time, but I go on special occasions and I, I do my own, uh, I have my own spiritual uh, agenda, I guess. It does my spirituality affect my values and priorities as far as voting? Yes. Uh, no, I, I definitely believe there's, there's some separation between uh, religion and politics. And, and as far as the community is concerned, I believe yeah, there's a religious community, there's also your local community which is you know politically oriented where your values are such that I don't necessarily like the two combined. I believe there should be some separation at church and state. I, I would describe myself as kind of a spiritual person. The spiritual part is all part of me along with, with looking at how it affects uh, our environment, our, our living conditions, uh, the whole works. It's, it's all you gotta, we gotta put everything all together and on how you, how I'm voting. Yeah, I'm religious, but you know I don't I spend a lot of time in church. But I was raised uh, to believe in God, and so you know underneath of all that, I believe there's a supreme being. Yeah, it's the question is, does my religious values affect my voting? And I would say yes. Uh, I don't want to vote for somebody that I think is evil or, you know, that's has the, that's opposed to my own religion. I would say non-religious, not, I am not a religious person, in fact I do not belong to any particular religious organization. A good portion is based on my own moral thoughts on how things should be. If it, if it were to be religious versus spiritual, I would be definitely spiritual. Values, worldview, religion, politics are fully integrated and only seem to manifest themselves, uh, or office, often seem to manifest themselves in places like the voting booth. My religion I'm Catholic and I portray as a Catholic and I act as a Catholic and my values and morals are as a Catholic but it doesn't influence and it doesn't partake in what I do is every day. I'm very open-minded and um, although I am Catholic it doesn't sway me to not persist in what I want to do or opinion on who I want. I don't partake my religion and put it on anybody because everybody's values are different. We are members of a church and we attend regularly. <laughs> well I actually I consider uh uh, teachings of the religious faith to which I belong and I re use that as a basis for deciding the priorities. I would consider myself to be a religious person says I strongly believe in the Bible and says I use that the best I can says to guide my life. Says I would uh, believe that says my religious stance says affects my voting says in an extreme manner says uh, says as a uh, true Christian says following says what the Bible says uh, says we try to stay out of political says things inside this uh, governmental system so says a lot of times says you wouldn't find me voting I guess religious it's mainly um, either moral issues or ethical issues um, you know, if somebody's for abortion, then I have a hard time with that. I do consider myself a religious, spiritual person. I uh, definitely think about that every day when I'm just out 
in the world that it's important to um, treat everyone nice and do as many kind things as you can. I don't know that they would necessarily persuade my political views, but I think those should be separate. But I do think that, you know, of course your, some of your beliefs come into your values and, and that's important. I would say I'm religious. Morality based on basic human values, uh, belief in the, in, the, in the Ten Commandments, for example, uh, as a basis for values, uh, belief in the golden rule, do unto others as you would have them do unto you. Well, I think that it's sad that in our society, uh, religion sometimes divides us rather than united us. All religions, it seems to me, have common goals and we should have an attitude of trying to find out what's best for our country and for our society. Well, I think actually if people would consult their basic values more, we might have better people in office. Well, I just think people need to consider the issues. I think they need to look at it um, from the standpoint of their values, and, but not just for themselves, but to look at everyone. And also in voting, how is this going to um, future how is it going to Im imply this is going to happen in the future or this is not going to happen? Not just, um, I'd say, impulse voting. Really examine the issues before you vote. Don't just jump into it and go, oh, well, this, 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 and not think about the impact that it has on a lot of other people. So I guess that's about it.